Welcome back to our trading series. In our last session, we emphasized the importance of risk management in trading, ensuring we protect our trades and minimize potential losses. We discussed spreading out orders across multiple buy targets as our strategy to establish an average entry price and reduce risk. Now, let's talk about today's lesson, Understanding Market Cap Analysis. Importance of Market Cap Market cap analysis plays a vital role in understanding the dynamics of the market. It provides insights into the size of a market and helps anticipate price movements. Just like we emphasized the importance of risk management, market cap analysis is another essential tool in our trading toolkit. Definition of market cap. But first, what exactly is market cap? Market cap refers to the total dollar market value of a company's outstanding shares of stock. Understanding market cap is crucial for making informed trading decisions. In our case, we aren't trading the stock market. We are trading cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies, like stocks, also have a market cap to help people measure how much money is in a given crypto asset at the current time. Market cap trends, 2017 cycle. Now, let's take a closer look at market cap trends during the 2017 cycle to understand how the market has evolved over time. Back when the QFL trading strategy was founded in 2017, the cryptocurrency market was just starting to gain mainstream attention. You can see here on this trading view representation, include chart of market cap from 2017 cycle, that we peaked just before 800 billion, and then we couldn't go any higher, so the market cap fell over with the rest of the industry. Transition to current market analysis. Now that we've covered the basics, Let's examine how market cap analysis has evolved in the current market landscape, particularly under the influence of institutional investments. In recent years, institutional investments have significantly impacted the cryptocurrency market, particularly in assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can see here on the price charts for these that both of these assets had suppressed price action in the bear market with big money players trying to accumulate while the price stays suppressed due to each coin's market cap, volume and overall involvement by big money. Market behavior of lower cap tokens and trading strategies in 2024. Institutional activity has significantly impacted lower market cap tokens as well, resulting in distinct market behaviors and base formations. Despite suppressed volatility, the top 100 coins exhibit resilience, with bases taking longer to crack and bounces requiring extended periods to return to the base. Given these shifts, what are our options as manual traders in 2024? Let's explore various strategies, from conservative to more risk-oriented and a combination of both. The conservative route. The first approach entails selecting only top coins, typically those within the top 100 or specific categories. These coins are often preferred by conservative traders who prioritize stability and liquidity. The riskier route. Alternatively, traders may opt for coins outside the top 100, delving into the top 200, top 500, or top 1000. These lower ranking coins are subject to higher volatility due to their lower market cap, resulting in thinner order books on exchanges indicating there is less money in the order books on the exchange. This reduced liquidity can lead to higher volatility, amplifying price swings and presenting increased risk for traders. Combining both routes. A balanced strategy involves selecting a mix of conservative and riskier coins. While riskier choices offer potential for higher rewards, conservative coins provide stability. Balancing these elements ensures a diversified portfolio aligned with your risk tolerance and investment goals. Having covered how market cap age tells us how certain coins behave, we can now see what to expect from each coin from its market cap and price action. That concludes our lesson on understanding market cap analysis. Stay tuned for our next lesson about identifying key support and resistance levels. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Stay tuned. Happy base trading and see you next time.